Hel Hello, it's um, just over a month ago now that I had my fall and I broke my upper humerus on the left hand, on the left arm, uh, which is just under the shoulder. And I've been um, sharing here my experience of my recovery. Um, it's um, now um, two days ago that I had my last scan and very good news because the consultant noticed that there was significant new bone growth and um, I can already start officially with physiotherapy sessions which I will start next week but already the consultant gave me some exercises that I can start to perform now together with everything that I have been doing I feel that uh, all of the things I shared with you the last few weeks have uh, contributed to this healing of my bone um, this also, uh, I have to share that I have been sleeping very well, uh, like not so well in the beginning because of the pain, but I have uh, slept long hours. I've really taken care of my diet, no alcohol, a lot of uh, green vegetables, um, especially also apparently coriander, very good for new bone growth, which I've been eating uh, together with the homeopathic remedies that I have taken um, and a topical cream of arnica I have also rubbed on my arm. The swelling at the lower arm is much less now which is good and um, I would like to share a little bit more exercises now that we can that I can start to do because I'm um, recovering and the new bone starts growing but this is doesn't mean that um, necessarily you can already start to do this as well uh, after a month of the accident or after your broken humerus and um, so always speak to your doctor before you you start to do these these exercises and um, but if you're um, just like me in this kind of phase where new bone is starting to to um, grow and um, my consultant was saying the pain will tell you also what you can or cannot do. And I personally really believe this, but um, I do think also when I make these videos that it's important that uh, you check it with your own doctor first before you start to do something that, um, <clears throat> that might harm you, because we never know. So uh, let's... Um, continue with some of the exercise that you could do now so uh, standing up like really straighten your arm so this was for me difficult in the beginning and then we can start to make bigger moves with the with your shoulder nice slow movements so it's not so much your body that's moving, but really your arm and your shoulder. And this might help you to prevent like um, stiffness in the shoulder. And then we change direction because it can be that you develop like a frozen shoulder or joint problems after an injury like this. So that's why very slow and careful movement. Moving is good. My consultant was telling me that now the bone is starting to grow. It's especially important to to move and it will help with your recovery. And then standing up straight, uh, re try and really straighten the elbow. And this might be difficult sometimes in the beginning. And then we're going to make this move with your hands, like bring your hand like stretch your hands out and bring your shoulder back and then back forward stretch back relax forward stretch your hand behind bring your shoulders back like that nice and slow you feel this my pec minor working as well, this big large muscle group. And it's good for circulation. 
and movement in general it just brings you more into the body because when you have an injury like this very often it can be that you start to worry about it or you create stories in your head but when we are um, more into the body then we take the mind away from worrying as well the next is make a fist and with your good arm you push with your fist against this hand a little bit of pressure one two three and relax one two three relax and nice upright so don't don't hunch your shoulders but be straight put a little push and relax a little push and this you might feel the pain I mean you don't have a lot of strength yet into in your arm and the bone is still healing so you have to take it slow but it's nice to feel that you are and for me it's nice that I feel that my strength is coming back already a little bit and then bring your hands to the outside and you push to the side a little bit one two three and relax one two three relax gently and I find also the breathing is really important and my consultant was um, telling me, I told him I was actually getting down and feeling a bit low in my moods because of this injury. And he said, no wonder, he said, your body has been producing so much of this cortisol, the stress hormone. And um, yeah, if, if you would normally stretch and move your body, you can't do that the same way. You have to find other ways. For me it's the breath as well very important that a part of my healing journey is to breathe now bring your hand to the upper arm and we start to push against a little bit but very careful one two three with deep breaths so i on the inhale you push your hands against the uh, your arm against the hand and on the exhale release inhale hold exhale release And then bring your hands together and push with your good hand to this is the the good arm the bad arm <laughs> uh, push with your good hand uh, like the bad hand against the good hand deep breaths And then you can just push and then you make slow movements as if you're rocking like a, holding a baby in your arm. Just slowly. And release. Next, <clears throat> with your hands by your side, inhale up your arm the, and look to the other side exhale down and you lift the other arm up inhale exhale think of your recovery think that every move you make is like a journey in your self-healing uh, and healing inhale and exhale and release <clears throat> 
and then we look to the same side as the arm you move up so inhale exhale inhale exhale deep breath and release and then <clears throat> bring your palms up and down inhale and you can move your head to the side feel a nice stretch it's good to move And then you bring your hands towards you and you make a movement with your head, bring your head back and forward at the same time. Nice stretch. And then change the position of the hands, so bring your hands forward, move up and down. Um, your wrist, move the wrist. And release. And then again, start to massage this pector minor, this big, big muscle that gets very stiff. You can maybe feel it because of your, your arm not moving so much that it's more stiff than the other side. So really get in there, rubbing it, pushing it, and massaging that beautiful muscle you can also go to the to your sternum like here and get in there rubbing it a bit this is good for all the circulation and this is what we've been doing already from week one and then very gently go into a little bit more into that armpit into where the injury is and then you can start to rub the arm over your injury for some nice circulation, improvement of circulation and um, <laughs> some tender loving care for yourself. Self-care is one of the most important things that I, I learned through this injury. How important it is to self-care and a little bit on the back as well. So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and um, I will be coming back with some more updates, hopefully in a week or so. Thank you for watching and if you are like me on the journey of recovery of your uh, fracture, good luck with your healing journey.